Hi, ladies. I heard you wanted to have a um, virtuous woman conversation, a Proverbs 31 woman conversation. Not a problem. Let's do that. So we're here on Proverbs 31, verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. So he trusts his wife 100%. He don't care nothing about what nobody say because he know that the woman he has is better than rubies, better than gold. She, she just, she's priceless, right? A, a Proverbs 31 woman is priceless. So her husband never has to worry about her, ever. <clears throat> and when you do come up to him and tell him some stank, he know his woman. So he's not concerned about nothing you're saying and he's looking at you totally differently, right? Um, she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maids. She considereth the field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands. She planteth the vineyard. So this is a woman. I'm going to go one more. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. Smoke. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. So this is a woman who works hard. No matter what she puts her hands into, what she's called to do, who says, girl, can you help me? This woman always puts forth her best. She never gives you anything less than her best. So when you call on a Proverbs 31 woman for help, if she really is interested in helping you, and she won't help you unless she really do want to help. So you can understand that things will be done properly. It will be done right. And she will go all out like it's her own project. Right. I can't stand when you ask somebody to help you do something. And they so doggone lazy. It's like, what did I ask you to come here for? So with a Proverbs 31 woman, you never have to worry about her being lazy. She loves to work. She don't mind helping. And she don't mind. She definitely going to make sure her place taken care of first, though. That's what she's going to do. Proverbs 31 woman ain't going to be in nobody else's house unless her house is in order. And that's most definite. It has to be in order and be there for a while. She ain't just going to be in nobody else's house strengthening and helping them out when her stuff is weak. So understand that. Right. She is the pillar. Right. She is the pillar of her house, her community. Right. Her home. Right. So she layeth her hands to the spindle. And her hands hold the staff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. So she's always looking out for somebody else. She, if you if you are homeless, she'll see you, give you a couple of dollars, whatever the case may be. Like I said, this is a woman who does not mind helping at all. And her household will always come first. Please understand that. Never expect a Proverbs 31 woman to not take care of home first. She will, she, I mean, what she look like giving you some, some milk when she need milk in her own house, right? Mm -mm. It's not going to happen. So you need not get upset when a Proverbs 31 woman say, hold up, I got to look out for myself first. What she do, right? She got to look out for hers first. That's how she remains a Proverbs 31 woman. How, how she going to keep her husband satisfied and she didn't get the last bit of the milk out, right? And he let her drink milk with his dinner, right? I have one of those, right? <laughs> she makes herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Now, strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. Now, this woman is very, very, very efficient. She is a asset out of this world. A Proverbs 31 woman is a asset, a total asset, right? You can never go wrong with a Proverbs 31 woman because this is a woman constructed by God. This is a woman who it has taken lots of years to get her to be what she is. A 16-year-old in a Proverbs 31 woman, a 21-year-old in a Proverbs 31 woman, it takes up to 35 40 depending on what you've been doing and how you've been doing it to be a proverbs 31 woman right close to 40 let's let's just say a proverbs 31 woman is 40 
Right. Because based on this, her children got to call her blessed. How do your children know you blessed and they still little babies running around? Right. So with that being stated, the Proverbs 31 woman is celebrated when she's about 40. But she's been cultivating herself from birth. Right. God's been cultivating her. This is Godly's female character. He loves this Proverb 31 woman. That's what God strives for all his women to be. And that's why he sends you a good husband, a great husband, an established husband. Once he sees you're working on yourself, and once he sees you have either finished on yourself or almost there, right? Now, if you're working on yourself and you're a great woman and you stone cold focused, he's going to bring you a man in to come and help you continue and finish on, right? Not to come and distract you and say, no, nah, I got it. No, nah, this man going to come in and say, let's finish this, baby, right? He going to make sure he going to be your biggest cheerleader, right? So, strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. So, she's not nosy, not all in everybody's business, not being a troublemaker, not running around talking about we shall overcome, because she knows she already overcame, right? She's one of those people who try and tell you, look, now, nah, we done been through this. Why are you still doing it? It's time for you to change your mindset. That's the Proverbs 31 woman who will tell you, uh-uh, when you're wrong, hold up now. You still want to stay stuck in that mindset. That's beautiful and dandy, but you don't take nobody else with you. You you take yourself there and you leave yourself there. Don't bring nobody else with you, friend. So, her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Yes. Her husband and her children love her to pieces unconditionally. They love this woman because this woman is all about them first. She has taken well good care of herself. She is well taken care of by her own self. So she's able to take care of her children and her husband well, right? So they can call her blessed because she's full of joy. She's full of all the fruits of the Spirit, right? Go look up the fruits of the Spirit. I ain't about to do that. So she's full of all the fruits of the Spirit, right? So... Her husband ain't never got worried about her. Her, her sons love her. Yes, they do. Her children love her. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. That's my wife. That's my woman. That's all me. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelleth them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gate. So everything, her work speaks for herself. God praises this woman. God blesses this woman. God keeps this woman youthful and beautiful for her husband and her children and her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. So she will always be blessed. She will always be praised. She don't care nothing about being beautiful. She care about taking care of her family. Right. And I don't mean beautiful because, I mean, she wants to be beautiful. But she don't care nothing about being all pretty and made up. This woman is more concerned about making sure her household is straight more than anything. That's a true Proverbs 31 woman. She makes sure her household is straight more than anything. And y'all have a beautiful.